BitTensor is actually OpenAI, and I'm not talking about Sam Altman's company, right? He calls it OpenAI. Not really OpenAI so much, right? So you've got these cathedrals, you've got you know, ChatGPT, you've got Grok, you've got Google, you've got Amazon, right? You've got, you've got these cathedrals of AI. You don't really have a Linux, right? There isn't really, um, you know, a, an internet to, you know, the AOL and the CompuServe and the Prodigy like we had back in the online services days. Um, and I think BitTensor is that truly open AI alternative um, you know, sort of from the bottom up, the, the drone swarm versus the, the battleship, right? Like, uh, we've seen this fractal repeat again and again in Compu history, right? The PC versus the mainframes, right? So, uh, so I think, I think BitTensor, because it has this Bitcoin-like dynamic, um, it has this subsidy built into it, it can actually be purely a Linux-like alternative to the big giant AI factories that are out there, and it can it can actually stand toe to toe, you know, with them or against them as it may end up, and be a legitimate contender in a way nothing else can.